it seems like concentration is a big part of the race in open water. Do you do things to practice being aware all the time and keeping a concentration in this? You, you, you know, you, your mind wanders for five minutes and suddenly, oh, hang on a minute, I've missed something. Hmm. I think, sorry, um, no, I think no. generally you learn how to do that. It's a bit like muscle memory in a way. So when we did, when I did my first 10K and I got out, my hip flexors, my lower back were absolutely killing because I was not used to looking up. And then the second time I did it, you know, the muscle memory just remembered it and it didn't feel anywhere near as bad. And it's the same mentally. Um, it's quite hard to train that. I mean, we do constant meters in the pool and sometimes it's hard to, to stay on, on game all the time. But it's kind of this muscle memory thing that you learn to, to deal with because on occasion, if you've taken your eye off the ball for two seconds, something's completely changed at the beginning. And if you've not looked at who's over here, uh, an example for myself was out in Perth. Um, the first part of our qualifiers for the World Championships. Uh, we were coming into the feed station for the last lap to go. We only had sort of 16, 1700 meters to go. And um, the Dutch girl, she went in to look like she was going to feed. And I thought, I'm going to miss the feed on this time. And I'm just going to swim around. Hopefully I'll catch her around the corner. And she kind of tricked everybody and she sprinted through the feed station. And it meant that she got away because nobody quite knew what was going on. So we took our eyes, eyes off the ball for, you know, 10 seconds and I took my eyes off the ball in, anyway for 10 seconds and she'd got that kind of that big enough gap that it was really hard for everybody else to catch up and everybody realized so then everybody was trying to catch her up so there was no making gains after that so you learn from those mistakes and you make sure that that never happens again definitely yeah I mean like Kerry ann said once you get sort of a couple of body lengths uh, in front of the the person behind you that that draft effect of, of being directly behind somebody sort of it's basically gone so you you then become the leader mm. and they become a separate pack themselves and it's very hard to bridge that gap especially when you've got people behind you who are also drafting off you so you're dragging them along as well so although it's hard to swim by yourself if you can break away it is definitely a, a, a good thing but you obviously need to be conditioned enough to to, to withstand that otherwise it's, it is a waste of energy so it looks like kazan is going to be <laughs> the toughest open water race yet tougher in many ways than Rio because everybody's going to be in Kazan wanting to qualify for Rio. So how are you approaching the race coming up in, in Kazan? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's a case of it is the most important race of my career. You know, we've got um, Olympic qualification on the line to come top 10 for automatic qualification. And and obviously everybody will have that in their mind. That's not just me that, that that's going for that, that result. Um, so for me, it's a case of being in the best shape I can possibly be. Um, that's what I can control. And then it's a case of on the day, you know, trying to put in the best the best performance possible and, and drawing on all the experience that we've had over these past few years of, of racing all around the world. And we've raced all these competitors before, so it won't be something that we're not used to. Um, there's not going to be anybody there that you know we've never raced before. So it, it's a case of drawing on that experience and, and just putting in the best performance on the day, really. And sport, sport, and it is very unpredictable. So we're we expecting. Rough race, Very, elbows yeah. and knees and all sorts. Um, I must admit, I the last kind of two of this situation, so before Beijing and then before before London, um, I will have been in a very different position. I was kind of out in the lead for um, it was in Shanghai, two thousand and eleven, and I led the whole race. I didn't one for one second of that race feel like anybody ever threatened me. I just I was in control, had the best race ever. So this is going to be really interesting for me because I've never really been involved in a pack or kind of felt that sort of um, angst to make make the Olympic team. So I'm not going to change the way that I do a race. So I'm going to go in, go stick to my plan. Obviously, be aware of what everybody else is doing and make sure that um, if anything does happen, I react to it really quickly. Um, but yeah, the last couple of years, um, certainly for the woman, has certainly got a lot more violent in terms of um, sort of accidents, shall we say, here and there. Um, and with something as important as, a, as the Olympics um, and with two Brazilian girls who are hoping to make the team as well. And I'm, I'm sure that those two girls are going to be fine almost with everybody just to make sure that they get uh, that Olympic uh, qualification some space. Some people have a reputation for being a bit rougher than others. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> Kerri-Ann can, uh, can give you a better insight on that to me because obviously I haven't done as many races as her but from, definitely from the boys' point of view there is, there is the odd one or two that you can pick up on and uh, it's a case of staying away from them. I mean, I don't, I don't advocate fighting with anybody in the water but I, I do definitely live by defend yourself at all times and, and if that means sort of having to stick an elbow in because they're, they're trying to do the same to you then 
I wouldn't not do that. Um, I just think it's a case of conserving the energy and, and fighting does take a lot of energy out of you. Going into the World Champs 2013 was the worst race in terms of violence I'd ever experienced. There was, I was swum over about five or six times and for me it, that is just unbelievable that the girls think that they can do that and get away with it. Um, anything goes in open water swimming at the moment. Essentially the, the rules are almost, there's no rules. Um, and I made a point there and then that I would go to the Rio Olympics and I was going to beat everybody and I was going to do it fairly. So I'm not, if so, like Jack said, if somebody's doing their best to kind of stop me from swimming, I'm going to make sure I defend myself. But I'm not going to go out of my way to swim over someone um, just because that's what everybody's mentality is now at the moment. Uh, for me, it's about being the best sportsman. Uh, well, good luck in Kazan. Thank Thanks. you very much for your time, and, and we look forward to, to watching the race with interest. Thank you. Thank you.